Hi, this is Beth Perry at the Swilly Library, and today I want to show you how to find the audio files that we have of Thomas Merton that you can download to your phone or tablet. So we want to start here at the library website, libraries.mercer.edu. And we want to scroll down to this link, Advanced Search. Where it says any field, I want to select author. I'm going to leave this field contains and then enter search term Merton comma Thomas. And then where it says material types, I want to select sound recordings and then click on search. Okay, so see this pulls up 118 results and not all of these are available online. So what I want to do is come here and select available online and then click on apply filters. Okay, this pulls up 39 results and I'm going to say, okay, I want this number four and it says it's available online, so I'm going to click that link. And it tells me it's on EBSCO Audiobooks. And just um, note that this resource only allows one concurrent user. So one person can use it at a time. So just get it for as long as you need. Okay, so now here um, it has this find full text. We don't want to click on that because it will just take us back to where we were. What we want to do is click on borrow. Okay, so it says to sign in with your My EBSCO account. So I'm going to do sign in. It's gonna take me to my um, to a page for my Mercer credentials. So I'm just going to log in there. Okay, so now here's we, we can choose um, one to seven days for our checkout period. So just remember if, if you don't think you're going to need it for seven days. Just um, choose the number that you think you will. You can always check it out again later. So I'm going to say um, I just need this for one day and then I'm going to click borrow. Okay, so this is telling me it was checked out successfully and now I need to sign in to the EBSCO audiobook app with the same username and password that I used to check it out, which that was my Mercer credentials. And then um, before you can get to the audiobook, you need to download um, the app from the Apple Store or the Google Store. And you've already checked it out, so it should show up. And it's connecting. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions about the process, please let me know and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you so much.